fifth grade English. All right, so we are going to be doing week number 25 and day number one today. And that's going to be another reading and comprehension lesson that we are going to do. Um, so the format is this. So we are going to be reading a story to you and you get a chance to follow along with us. The story, today's story is going to be titled The Blue Whale. All right, we're going to read that so you're going to follow along with us. You're welcome right now to turn to page number 144 if you have your study notes downloaded already. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the screen with me. The content's going to come in front of you and so maybe you can follow follow along like that. All right, so without further ado, let's read week number 25, day number one of Heroes Model School Academy, fifth grade English together. In the beginning, God created the world and all the creatures that inhabit it. He created the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and the animals of the land. But of all the creatures he created, there was one that stood out above the rest, the mighty blue whale. The blue whale was the largest animal that had ever lived. It was so big that it could reach lengths of up to 100 feet and weigh as much as 200 tons. Its heart was the size of a small car, and its tongue weighed as much as an elephant. The blue whale roamed the oceans, swimming thousands of miles every year. It was a creature of great power and strength, feared and respected by all who encountered it. But despite its size and strength, the blue whale was also a creature of great gentleness and grace. It swam through the water with a sense of peace and tranquility, never harming any of the smaller creatures that swam alongside it. As the blue whale moved through the vast expanse of the ocean, it seemed to be at peace with the world around it. It was a reminder of the beauty and majesty of God's creation, a symbol of his power and might. And as people looked upon the blue whale, they were filled with awe and wonder. They marveled at the size and strength of this magnificent creature, and they knew that they were in the presence of something truly great. For the blue whale was not just an animal, but a living testament to the glory of God. It was a reminder that even in the midst of the chaos and turmoil of this world, there is still beauty and goodness to be found. And so, as the blue whale continued to roam the oceans, it carried with it a message of hope and faith, a reminder that God is always with us, guiding us, and protecting us, no matter where we may go. All right, so I believe you got a chance to read along with us over there. Um, so we are going to go right now to try to answer a few questions. We're going to turn to page number 145 to answer a few questions over there. Um, according to this author, what is the typical size of a blue whale? Length and weight. All right. So I believe the answer is going to be somewhere here if you were to go to paragraph number two. The blue whale can reach up to 100 feet, that's the length of it, and weigh as much as 200 tons. All right, so that's going to be the answer. Try to write, write your answers as complete sentences because you're in fifth grade right now, you're trying to graduate, so please and please try to do that. All right, question number two. Let's go back right now to question number two. Uh, question number two. All right. <laughs> Which part of the whale's body could be the size of a small car? Well, we're going to see right there. Its heart was the size of a small car. Okay. Question number th uh, three. Even though magnificent, the blue whale exemplifies true humility and peace. Is this true or false? Correct. It's true. We're going to see over there in paragraph uh, number one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to read it over there. You're welcome to write additional things to it, add additional things to your answer. Question number four What did you learn from today's story? Well, there is a critical lesson over here that we want to make sure we do not forget. It says, um, As the blue whale continues 
continued to roam the oceans, it carried with it a message of hope and faith, a reminder that God is always with us, guiding us and protecting us no matter where we may go. So I'm hoping that you can learn that lesson from the tranquility of the blue whale, how peaceful it is, even though it is a creature of great size and potentially great strength as well. But it's, it's so peaceful, doesn't doesn't bother all the creatures that are swimming around it in the vastness of the oceans over there. All right, so hopefully you, you learn that, you know, that's a, that's a sense. It brings a message of hope and faith that God is with us. All right, so we're gonna go right now to talk about a few uh, words that we may not have heard of before that you may want to look up in your dictionary. So words like awe, oh. have you heard that? Oh, well, that's where you get awesome from. <laughs> what about words like Rome? You might have heard that before. Magnificence, testament. So let's look at two words right now from dictionary.com. We're going to go to dictionary.com. Let's type in the word oh. It's A W E. Oh. And its pronunciation is going to be like this. Oh. You see that? Oh. 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 Okay. It means it's a noun, an overwhelming feeling of reverence, admiration, fear. All right, etc. Produced by that which is grand, sublime, extremely powerful, or the like, in awe of God, in awe of great political figures. All right, overwhelming feeling of reverence. Okay, so that's what awe is. All right, let's try another word. Another word like testament. Have you heard of testament before? Testament. Well, testament can be used as, um, in terms of law, like a will, okay? Uh, like the New Testament or Old Testament, certain two major sections of the Bible. But more important than that, I want to say it's a proof. Testament is going to be a proof, all right? A proof that something is successful. All right. So please go ahead and try to do that with the other words that you can see that you've learned of today that potentially you may not have heard of before. Try to look them up in the dictionary and try to use those words in sentences. And if you follow those steps, those words are going to stick to you and you would have built your vocabulary and your bank of words a little bit. All right. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you. So do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes born.